Well, Carlos, first off, it's been a, a testing week for your squad with those two defeats to Sunderland and, and Sheffield United. What's the mood like in camp at the moment? I think, of course, the result has not been the result that we wanted to achieve. And we have spent a lot of energy to achieve the result that we wanted to achieve. But I didn't see a bad performance in any of these games that bring me positiveness to keep facing the, the next opponents. Because I think against Sunderland, the team did a, a very, very, very good effort. And we try our best, but didn't work in the result that we wanted. And the next day against Sheffield, the next game, I think the team played with one level of personality that during the first 16 minutes were helping a lot. And it's true that we didn't react, we couldn't react enough well, or we didn't, we didn't react enough well after they scored the first goal. But I think the team doesn't arrive to this moment uh, without feeling, without belief. I think they know that they have been strong at home. I think they know that they are strong playing a good football. They know that we have some behaviors that help us to be a competitive team. And they have, of course, the desire to win the last game that we are going to play of the regular season at home. How are they all physically, Carlos? It's been quite physically demanding, hasn't it, this last week? We knew that the demands of this week would be the highest of the season because in the moment of the season that you are right now, because the number just two days between the game, that because you only have two days between the games, and because you are going to play with opponents that you face in different, uh, the teams arrive in different physical conditions because they didn't have some of the games that we, are, that we had in, the, in that week. But in this type of physical demandings, we need to show a strong mentality. And our strong mentality and our desire to win the football games need to compensate the tough and the disadvantage from the physical perspective that we are going to, that we are going to have. How do you see the playoff picture now at the moment, Carlos, obviously two points off the top six with two games to go. Realistically, do you think your side need two wins from the last two games? I think realistically you can be thinking how you that you can win the, the next game and this is true. This is everything that we need to do. We need to be focused in ourselves. We need to be focused on us and we need to be focused to win the next game. And after this, we will see how is the situation and how we can arrive to the last game of the season. But now, more than be thinking if it's possible or if not possible, we need to be thinking to finish the last game of the season at home with the best feeling, with the best desire, with the best commitment with our fans, showing how much we want to win the game. And this is going to be the most important thing. After the game, we'll see the result, we'll see the other results, and we will see how we arrive to the last game of the season. It's an evening kickoff. Is that an advantage, a disadvantage, or is it doesn't really matter in your mind? I think from the physical perspective, it's going to be uh, something positive, the fact that we have two hours more. Because when you only have two days between the games, every small detail can help you. And sometimes two hours is the difference between that one player can compete 10 minutes more or 10 minutes less, and maybe in these 10 minutes you can change one game. So every small detail can help us right now in terms of the physical recovery. After we are going to be just focusing ourselves because if we are, if our performance is going to depend on what other teams are doing, for me is wrong. I think we need to compete in the same level without be watching and knowing the other results. I think we need to compete for ourselves. We need to compete for our big, for our club, for our fans, and we need to give our best in the football pitch because this is, this is the commitment that I know that we have, and this is the commitment that now and especially even in the future is going to make us a strong team. It's just a bigger game for Norwich as it is for us. They are one point behind us, still with an outside chance of, of reaching the top six. Carlos, knowing that they need to win the game, are you expecting them to come at us quite aggressively tomorrow? I think so. I think it's going to be another competitive and, and nice game to, to watch with two teams with very good players, with very good squads, with the squads that perfectly could be in another different position. But then now we arrive in this moment of the season, in the position that we are right now. Uh, but of course, knowing that we are going to play against a very good team, like you say, with the still possibilities that are going to come, of course, with the target, the same target that we have, to to add three points in one team that arrive in difficult physical perspective, but with the same desire that we have, and like both we have the same desire and different, different. We arrive, we approach the game in different moments. We need to put one extra point of mental strength 
and overcoming mentality that is going to be necessary to have and is going to be the key aspect. But the fact that we play at home with our fans and knowing that it's the last game of the regular season in our stadium, for me, need to give us the extra point of energy that was going to be necessary to compete in the way that we have to compete to win the three points.